Well, good morning guys. Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So Rachel and I got up this morning and uh, she always gets up, we make coffee, and she comes outside and gives the animals their treats. Here's Mojo's treats for today. Well, he's nowhere to be found. He has important guard dog duties. Look at him. So there is a reason he's over there in that barn. So let's go see. I have a pretty good idea why he's over there. What you know, Mojo? Huh? What you know, buddy? You got a surprise for us? Huh? You got a surprise for us? Skeeter wants to see too. All right. So um, these guard dogs are family with the goats. You guys know that they love their goats, and anytime the goats are in distress or there's a problem, the guard dogs don't leave the goat side hardly. So Mojo is out here, you know, it's normal for him to be out here with the goats and lay around with them and stuff, but he never lays in the barn. And I can see there's another goat in the barn, so I think there's a surprise. You guys know we are expecting some more babies. And I see a lot of feathers for some reason. That ain't good. But I see babies. Ooh, I see more than two babies. Hey, Mama. So, we'll try to take a little closer look. We don't want to disrupt her too much. Good morning, Mama. She just had these babies and Mojo come out here to see to her and be with her. Let me know how. So there's three babies. That one right there is very tiny. I have not seen it get up just yet. We still got the sack here. Come on. Oh, let's go. 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 let us go Check out the babies. Yeah, you leave those babies alone. Hey, you leave those babies alone. So I can tell one's a little girl, maybe two. I'm not gonna bother them too much because, like I said, she's still got the sack hanging out. So she she just had them, and uh, Mojo. Come out here and make sure mama had no issues. Alright, so we got another problem though. Why is there white feathers everywhere? Either you guys have been fighting or somebody's molting big time. Look at all these. This is kind of disturbing. It looks like there's uh, been something going on here. Oh, look who we caught back here. That's one of the uh, Spanish turkeys. She's got a nest started back here and she's been laying eggs, so we'll let her be. And uh, I'm gonna let her sit on her eggs as well. She's got a she's got a clutch back there already. We'll let her sit on them. Unless you wanna sit on them, you know that? Whenever your egg starts laying eggs, guess what? The males are the ones that sit on the eggs. So you're gonna be the one sitting on the eggs when she starts laying, you know that? You wanna sit on some turkey eggs for practice, huh? You want to set on some turkey eggs for practice? Didn't think so. All right, geese. You guys, uh, you protect those babies, okay? You and Mojo. I know you guys can do it. Let's see if I can come back and take another look at them real quick. I sent one. All the geese and the geese get mad at me when I go over here. I think they think I'm gonna bother them. Good job, Mama. 
That one's already sucking, so that's a good thing. They all got little polka dots. That white one has black polka dots, and that uh, colored one over there, she's got some black polka dots too. That's a good mama. That's one of our uh, Picos. That baby was latched on good. They all seem to be doing good. They, uh, the, I came out here and that one kind of startled me a little bit. It's very tiny and it looked really weak, but as you can see, it's up, active, wagging its little tail, and uh, the mama's licking on it. And if you watch her, she'll kind of start pushing those little babies back to where her udder is. And I got Emmy sitting here biting my shirt. <clears throat> it's just crazy how the natural instinct of these babies are, and they know kind of where to find the milk. But she's a good mom. She always has a um, good kidding success. She usually has twins. You just stop, you know what I mean? I'm going to show everybody what you're doing. I'll oh, stop. Quit pecking me, I don't have anything, okay? If you want to watch the babies, that's fine, but you don't have to sit there and peck me. Okay? Let's just watch these babies and make sure the mom is doing okay. Try to make sure all the babies eat. Oh, now, now the little uh, white one's latched on in seconds. That's really good. So goats only have two teats. If you guys did not know, the goats only have two teats. So when a mama has more than two babies, the baby's got to take turns drinking the milk. Did you guys know that? He said, hmm, I never knew that, mister. <laughs> Alright, where did Big Mo go? I think he already went over with the other goat. So we should be having some more babies. Um, so here is a little um, info for you. Hey, Emus. Hold on, let me make sure they don't go there and bother them. I don't want to have to close that door. But... Yone, you want to go to the She's just getting a drink. Put that in there for the ducks to have some water to get away from the uh, geese. Because so a lot of times these swimming pools in here, the ducks will come and then the geese will kind of chase them all. But a um, little info for you. these, This set of triplets here is the first set of babies over here from Bo. So you guys know we kind of started a, be a breeding program a few years ago, breeding um, pygmy goats to Kikos. And um, these goats right here are pretty much the result of that. You can see they're a medium sized goat. But now we got this New Zealand Kiko and um, he is the sire of all the babies that's fixing to be born from this point on <clears throat> here on the farm, especially over here <clears throat> on the Pico side. You guys seen, um, we first brought Bo home, this Kiko goat, the New Zealand Kiko goat, and we put him in with our Kikos and our Spanish over in the big field. And uh, we've already had babies, um, they're over two months old now. And we've seen the results of him, he did a very outstanding job with them. But now this is the first results of seeing the uh, Picos being bred back to the New Zealand goat. And uh, you can see all his colors. He has multiple colors, so there's no telling what color the babies are going to be. And right there, you got three babies with two different colors. So you're a dad over here now. So. And the geese are the geese are very excited. They're very excited. They're welcoming the uh, new babies, as you can see. And you got. Yoshi over here trying to eat a oakley. The goats and the... Oh, Bo's going to take your oak leaf from you. Hey, you guys could work in uh, teams, you know that? You guys are tall enough you could reach up with your long necks and pick up some leaves off this tree. And then the goats will come over here and uh, get it from you. Look at here. Here's how you get goats to come to you. Hold down this limb for a little bit. They've already reached everything they can reach. This is like candy to these goats. <laughs> Bo just tore off a little 
We hit him with all kinds of these things. So these kids out here that you see now are not those kids. These were born about a month and a half ago and they were from a uh, little young buck that we didn't get rid of fast enough. And uh, he bred some of these girls. But all the goats going forward that you see that are giving birth to kids now, they will actually be from this guy right there. Yone is watching me eat those. Food. All right, then you guys stripped it off with your face. Um, we got a few more that should be having some babies. Miss Ghostface should be having some any day too. And then uh, Snowball. Are you Snowball? No, oh, here's Snowball. Hey Snowball, when are you gonna have your baby? Huh? You wanna tell us? She should be having them real soon. And there, there could be a few more. Um, there'll probably be four or five over here at least. Be having babies, so... Bo, you did a good job. You got your first set of triplets over here. He had uh, two sets of triplets over in the Kiko pen. But we got goats everywhere now, so now we're on baby watch. <laughs> You're not the little baby no more, you know that? You look like Daryl, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let them be, I guess. But so that officially tells me that um, since goat gestation is five months from the day they conceive pregnancy to the term limit or whatever they call it term no limits there's no limits they can go over or under we're not talking politics but five about five months from when you put a buck in there you can count down the days and within a few days give or take the mamas are going to have babies so we know that he's been in here at least five months now because that mama had that baby she could have had them a little bit early because she was carrying triplets sometimes sometimes they'll have them a little bit early so these goats should be within if if they took if they took and bred about the same time as that goat did but he's at least been in here now long enough that these goats could be having babies any day and you can see we got several mamas with some big old udders and some big old bellies so uh should not be long we'll have some more babies on the ground so stay tuned and subscribe if you're not subscribed and hopefully soon um they say emus are supposed to be about two years old before they start laying eggs these emus are over a year old now so hopefully we'll come out here one day and miss yone will have some eggs laid i haven't seen the emus breed yet i don't even know i don't think i've ever even really seen videos or anything of that so i don't even know how that takes place exactly but i can only imagine um, they're really big birds, so there's no telling. Let's go see what Mojo has to say about this childbirth. Kidding, child, whatever, kids. He's over here laying next to the fence. Come here, Mo. You wanna come get your treats? Huh? You deserve your treats, buddy. You can come back out here. I should have brought them to you, huh? Hey. You're very proud. Look at that smile from this big man. Yeah, look at that smile. He is a proud... This is proud Uncle Mojo, isn't it? He said, yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do whatever I can to protect those babies. Did you help clean them up? Hmm? Did you help clean those babies up or what? You're a good boy, you know that? You're a good old dog no matter what anybody says. I know you're a good livestock guardian dog. And you're a good uncle. I think he's got some blood on his mouth. So uh, I'm pretty sure he helped clean those babies up. And uh, sometimes they eat the afterbirth. They don't want that scent lingering around because the coyotes and the predators get a whiff of it. And then they want to come over. And They know there's an easy meal either with the afterbirth or they'll pick, pick off the little uh, newborn kids. And that's never good. So anyways, I'm going to go back in and drink my coffee. We'll come out and monitor the other goats and check on these triplets again later in the day. But like I said, do not do not forget to subscribe and uh, leave us a comment. Um, how many more kids do you think we're going to have over here from the Pico goats? I'm going to say we'll have six more kids, so a total of nine kids. That's, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll see. Skeeter, your brother wants his treat. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, I might as well bring you guys along and show you Mojo getting his treats for being a good boy. Oh, he already found them. Look at that. Yeah, he already found them up there. That's funny. Hold on, Mo. I'll bring them to you. You can't wait. Oh, he's already getting them. Rachel just set them up there so the other dogs and cats wouldn't get them, but he's already, he's already got them. He got boy, he's free. He already grabbed one, I think. Hey, which one do you want first? You want the pup around? Yeah, that one looks really good. Dad. Give me that. Give me that. Mm, that's good. Yeah, he gets a whole array of treats. All right, let's see which one you want next. Hold on. You want the milk bone or you want this chicken nugget looking thing? Oh, I think I'll take the chicken nugget. Mm, that's really good. Milk bone. <sighs> you... Deserve more, I know, but this this will hold you over for a while. I, I've still got to go give Leesky and Cora their treats. Ready? Can you sit? Sit. Can you sit? He said, I don't know how to sit. Just give me the milk bone. Can you sit? Uh, I don't know what that means, Dad. Can you sit? Uh, just give me the milk bone, please. Okay, here you go. Good boy. One more. There you go. <laughs> all right, guys. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and stay tuned for the next video. We'll update you guys and uh, let you know how many more babies come and uh, make sure that these are okay. Thank you for watching. We love you. Have a great day and see you next time. Uh, you got any more treats up there now? Ooh, that was really good. See ya.